All right, and we're back. We're actually here at the Copper Cornet. I think we're finally ready to hire on a proper fighter for the company before we head out east for uh, Nalia's father at her estate. What? But actually... Nature's servant awaits. Okay. So here, I think on this end of the bar, well, Unger Hildark and Sylvanas, even though Sylvanas doesn't quite look like uh, a brawny enough guy. <laughs> I think we're going to talk to him anyway. Shahir is encumbered. All right, full plate. How can I help? I await your need. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Call me Jahira, a sweet elf. Finding her most sensual. <laughs> Jahira getting all the advances. I think uh, Bernard had eyes for her as well. But uh, she thinks that's disgusting. All right. You set me on fire with your words and your lovely body as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, Jahira appreciates that. Telling Sylvanas to stay out of her way. All right. Talking with uh, Unger Heldark, who looks like a dwarf. Your chatter is starting to wear on me nerves. Okay, apparently not in a pleasant mood. Man. I think we know about uh, Anaman. That was his name. Standing over here, but I think the problem is uh, really didn't appreciate his ego. So here's a Mollus with two ruffians. Stay back, or you'll regret it. All right. A Mollus is busy. Sir, uh, what you want? Almost looks like a cleric. I'm a priest of Lathander, and this here's a devotion to the bloody dawn rabbits. <laughs> Are you simple or something? Get out of my face! I don't think Jahira wants to start anything, but I don't think she appreciates that tone. Take a hike. All right. And then uh, Corgan, who looks like Rick a... Hale, was sell for all. I be curious, friends. I'm scouring for a band of desperate men to aid me in a gallant task. All right, who looks like a dwarf? Sounds like he has a tale to tell. I guess uh, we'll at least hear him out. All right, a bit ago. I guess he was with some others, trying to ob obtain an ancient text for a patron. Looks like a fight bro broke out. And uh, he's never able to actually return the text to the one who hired him. Rumor has it, though, the pay is handsome and worthy of note sacks of loot and odd magics. I think the fact of uh, just the book alone is almost piquing Lily's interest. The man's name is Pimlico. I think we've seen that name, maybe in a state in one of the districts. He collects books. Arcane, bizarre, peculiar, it matters not. Apparently, the, this is the first time he's hired outside help. <laughs> Corgan and uh, the others. He's saying it's not just any book like Elminster's Memoirs or Drizzt's Loblolly Recipe. This is the Book of Kazaa. It's in a hobnail's tomb over in the lower crypts of the Grave District. Wow. I haven't even been there. All right, his full name is Corgan Bloodaxe, and the book is worth a king's ransom. Well, I think Lily's interested. Not only in uh, this book in the tomb, but I think she'd like to see uh, Pimlico's estate. Sounds like he might have an interesting collection. So, yeah, I think she'll do it for the uh, Lure of Gold alone.
I don't think she's going to mention Imowen, but uh, I think she's curious if he's heard the name Aranicus. So long as you helps me plunder my tomb as I ask, I'll join you in skinning your mage, if it pleases you. The mage will be no danger with an axe in his belly, sure enough. <laughs> okay. And he actually, okay, he's actually joined the party, too. Be quick with it! Corgan, a berserker. Level 9. Pretty sure that's a fighter kit. an rage ability. Okay. Cannot specialize in ranged weapons, but I think that's fine. Lily uh, simply wants the services, I think, strictly as a melee fighter. Apparently he doesn't want to talk about his past. <laughs> okay. Okay. 114 hit points, wow. And look at this, five ranks in Axe. I think that means he's, uh, I think this is as high as you can go. He must be a master uh, Axeman, if that's what you call it. Wow. Here is his Axe, a Battle Axe plus one. One-handed. So he's got small shield, throwing axes. Does that mean you can, I guess, switch them? Use them as a melee weapon? It's interesting. I, mean, I could do that. Splint mail. I think uh, we actually have a suit of full plate that we can give him. Oh. Yes? I think. Yeah, they actually mentioned him in the manual, I think. Look at that strength. 18 over uh, exceptional strength, up to 77 out of 100. Yeah, the chaotic evil. <laughs> I think that might be a problem. But uh, I think we'll just have to see how much of a problem that might be. All right. Is this the full plate? Okay. Yeah. We'll see if uh, we can't get him a better shield. I am ready. I got some cheap beer for ya. And well, let's make sure we can buy a better shield first. All right, large shield. I don't know why these are separate. All right. I don't think we have anything else to sell. I think we're going to sell the scrolls to uh, Galumpa, the bookkeeper, back at Joaquin's promenade. All right. All right, so it's taken us a while, but uh, we're finally ready to return yes? to Joaquin's. Man, I think it's been a few days already. I only wanted to go to uh, Cromwell's and the government district, <laughs> and a lot's happened. You must gather your party. I think uh, probably get pick up Minsk, I guess, at the Mithrest Inn. And here at the graveyard, that's where Corgan's talking about. But uh, that book in a tomb isn't going anywhere. <laughs> so we're going to leave that till later. The more urgent priority is uh, Nalia's father here at uh, Dernie's Hold. But we'll come back to that. 
As long as I uh, hopefully won't complain about it. I think actually we'll see if we can walk around this way. Belman Gurgis, seen him before. All right, it's blocked off. I have to go around. Doesn't look like uh, Nolly is wearing studded leather armor. <laughs> I think here we are. Yes, I think we'll go back to the Mithrust Inn and, um, well, maybe organize a little bit, a little spell book, and, uh, and then check out these exhibits and whatnot. Town crier. Am I needed? It's about time. Just gonna see if there's anything new. I'm actually quite shy. <laughs> nope. 